Hello, I have returned, and it is time to start working on the port again. So, I'm going to need to gather some materials. So I really need to get going on this. Which is part of the reason I have freed up my inventory here. Now, to make the boat, I intend to make a carve because frankly the raft is not worth it at all. <laughs> it's time to do some gathering. Well, hopefully I've done the majority of the gathering, but uh, I'm going to need to make nails. Uh, so I need 80 nails. And I believe I have at least four pieces of bronze still in my possession. I do. Okay, let's remember to repair the pickaxe and such. And then... Two, four, six, eight. And another 20 fine wood. I am going to have to gather some more fine wood. Supplies are looking pretty low. I do want the core wood here, but uh, inventory is a bit of an issue. Wait, how many deer hides did I need? Ten. Okay, so... Ten deer hide. And 20 resin, which I will get out of the outside box, because seeing my full inside box pleases me. Oh, look at that. I have a stack of exactly 20 there. All right. Now, oh wait, it's 30 fine wood, not 20 fine wood. Oh dear. Do I have enough? Oh man, that's all my fine wood. Well, oh, that is a problem. I'm gonna have to massacre some beech tree, some birch trees. But first, I'm gonna take all of this. The nails are processed, so I can take them through the portal. And I'm not actually going to build the boat. We're just going to put a chest down here and put the exact boat materials needed right inside there. And then frankly, I am going I'm going to go and very specifically chop down birch trees in this area. And it falls on the house. Of course it falls on the house. It does not appear to have done any major amounts of damage though. Shoo! Honestly. No, no, don't you dare roll into the water.
Okay, how are we doing? Nearly, nearly replaced the beet, the uh, fine wood that I grabbed out of my stash. Still another birch tree. Where, where did that come from? Okay, I'm gonna leave this one alone because I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the other half without it falling. Uh, hopefully I got enough resin that I- yes! Okay. This is not specifically going to be the dock because it's actually too high, but it's going to be part of the dock, you see. back around the other side. A little one there and there and it starts raining because why? I'm gonna put a little railing up here. And apparently I'm roofing this place. Just can't let a lady work, can you? Okay, pretty sure I can't put that one on from... Wait, haha! This is Quite a lot of rain, actually.
quite a bit more rain than I really wanted to deal with. Come on, ladder. And this is why I prefer stairs to ladders. Okay, I think I actually got them on right that time. Oh, come on. don't remember how to do this. I obviously don't remember how to do this. Man, this is what you get, what I get for uh, trying to repeat something that I saw once on a YouTube video. right either. That's the trick. That's the trick. Okay, okay, I've got it now. this would be when I would run out of wood. And the 
and I got stuck. No, don't drown. Because I ran out of food and didn't notice. far more complicated than I really needed to make it, I think. Okay, that's that's not actually the important bit. That's that's the bit I can get to last. I would run out of wood again. Why why would I have enough wood? Why would I ever have enough wood? Tree physics. Yes, exactly. The time I get the roof on, it stops raining. All the rain damage been done. None of it mitigated. Wait for my stamina to come back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's finish getting the important part of the roof on.
I can manage to do this without falling into the portal, that would be great. Okay, now the important part of the roof is on. So let's repair all this stuff that got damaged in the rain. Man, one night of rain did so much damage here. Okay. Wait a minute. Why does it line up on that side, but not on this side? Oh, that's not right. Come on. Get in there. Stop fighting me. Because I, I saw somebody uh, do a roof kind of like this on a YouTube video, but um, they actually had the whole building. Like, they knew what they were doing. me I'm more of a try it until it works sort of now 
let's see. Did I leave any logs up here with these neck? No, apparently not. Oh, it tried. It tried to come for me. Make a tube of floor 8x8 eight eight dirt up in Minecraft and call it a day. I might do that, but the thing is, I like when... when I, I like making things look nice. I, I like having a, a visually appealing building. That's really one of the things that I, I really like about Valheim is the the ability to to build things. To to try experiments and and uh, and build stuff that that looks nice as well as being functional. It's one of the, it's one of the things that that gives me enjoyment. Admittedly, putting on a roof like this is a lot trickier than it uh, than I had originally anticipated. Oh, come on. Already? Also, why is this bit of floor all messed up? Didn't I repair this? <laughs> Aw, thanks for the heart Kirby Hearts muse. Okay, I I can I can work with this what's just happened here. a roof like I just did has a functionality to it as well in that it covers uh, both the front and both the, all the sides of the house are now covered by roof so even if the rain decides to come down diagonally it's 
So even if the room decide the rain decides to come down diagonally, the place is still covered. Don't go back in the water. Aha! I win. The heck is that? Oh, they're beach seats. Okay, never mind. I think I just broke my hammer. That's certainly going to give me some time to make some design decisions. <laughs> Shall head over here, drop off the fine wood, and I guess the extra beech seeds. Definitely this birch seed. Repairs! And more repairs. Realize that this fire has gone out. Has the other one gone out too? Uh, sure that it has. One moment. important to keep the house warm. Oh, and my torch has gone out. All sorts of things are just given up on me. Alright, I'm just gonna sit down for a bit to get a rested bonus, because I really like the stamina regen for projects like this. Okay. Also, I've realized that this is not the correct thing to have here. That's what I want there. Back to the port. And I was just flicking through and I realized that inverted, the inverted angle is actually exactly what I want. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. And come on, come on, get in there. Mm. 
Now, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I, I want that wood, please. Ha-ha! So, I want to do the same thing around this side. Come on. Like that. Like that. Except that's not the right spot because it's dark. Like that. And like that. Like that. Let's see, turn this around. Come on, come on, get up there. Like that. And then the wall goes in there like that. Frame it out. That one's backwards. There. Ha ha. I still have to build the dock, but we're looking pretty good around here. Although I do realize that I may have made a mistake, given that rock down in the water. I wonder if I can do anything about that rock down in the water. Oh, I think I can. That's shallow enough water that I'm pretty sure I can take care of this problem. to cheat oh hey game now about that uh, being able to see things in the dark thing it's not as easy as it sounds especially not when it's gray
Okay, I, I heard that get thrown. Where did that get thrown from? Seriously, where is the thing? There it is! can't ever let a woman work. No. Actually, you know what? That's gonna have to be good enough. Now, the general idea here is to uh, be able to park the ship where it's uh, within, well, where I can stand within this white circle. So I, come on, please don't make me. Yeah, that rock's still there, isn't it? It is lower in the water now, so I suppose I'll have to be happy with that. This is going to be trickier than I thought. Especially since I keep falling into the water when I'm trying to do my construction. have wood when I've only cut down a few dozen trees. Then I notice that there's wood on the roof. You 
know what? I want it. Come on, get under there. I'm, I'm very peeved. If you drown me for this, so help me. I don't have enough wood, do I? Of course, because I, cause I used the wood to do a fancy pole on the roof, because that's just the kind of person I am. Drifting out to sea. <laughs> you know, there should also be a leg here, but it would be in my way, so I'm not putting it on yet. as it makes a break for the ocean. fish just keep tormenting me. What if I had just fallen on their- yes, yes it would. You know what? I'm probably going to have to do those in core wood. How annoying. No, 
Now, why, why would you... Yeah, sure. Make make all the wood jokes. Get get them out of your system. It's not like I am battling to support my house here or anything. lucky I like you, you know that? I always have to make sure I have to pronounce the Y at the end of Woody's names. Mm-hmm, exactly. <laughs> oh, look at you unlocking all the emotes, Muse. got these facing the wrong way and it's gonna bug me forever. No, no, let me on the rock. Little Fox Go Jump. Yes, I, I adore that one too. That's one of the ones that I specifically commissioned for myself. Nobody has that emote but me. Many of the other ones are, are ones that anyone who uh, joins the emote club of the artist can use. No, I, I want to be standing. Let me stand. I don't want to swim. No. It keeps pulling me out to sea so that I'm swimming instead of standing. Okay, blue, green, okay, okay, we're, we're starting to get somewhere with this. Okay, all right. We are nearly at where I want to be for this. And I need to, yeah, I, I need to go back to the house. Unless, um, Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's let's live a little dangerously. Let us head. 
ahead. Let me head over the heat this way and see if I can't find some pine trees. You know, without getting mobbed by gray dwarves. Speaking of getting mobbed, hello, hello, goodbye. You too. Well, then she's just saying, I'm going to go get wood. In a game that definitely does not have lumberjacking. I'm going to note for the record, the deer was asking for it. Okay. For the time being, I do not need this. I'll hold on to the other stuff for now. Those look like some pine trees over there. And some gray dwarves who are protecting them. Yep, okay, question number one. Can I cut these down without dropping them in the ocean? Question number two, is that something glowing up there? You know what? I'm not going to worry about that. Well, one of them at least did not make a break for the ocean, so I'm going to I'm going to count that as a victory. Wait, I might have spoken too soon. Oh, the other tree stopped it. Gimme that sweet, sweet core wood. Towards the ocean it goes. I chuck these. Okay. This might not be enough, but it's how much I'm carrying, so. Oh yeah, I, I hear you. Okay, all right, all right. Thankfully, the other trees, you know, uh, helped me and uh, caught the caught the core wood. Green, hello, welcome. I 
I'm gonna admit I didn't expect to see you if I hadn't already seen you by now. Wait a minute. Oh, I've been to this chest. <laughs> Okay, I am not entirely certain that this is enough core wood for my purposes, but we'll find out. Oh, for crying out loud. So what's the point cost for make fox wine run over a gray dwarf log so often it dies challenge? What's a gray dwarf log? Oh, run over Grey Dwarf with a log. Ooh. Uh, you know, considering how difficult that would be, uh, that would have to be a lot of points. Because uh, first, I'd have to actually be able to roll multiple logs over a Grey Dwarf. And setting that up would be quite time-consuming. <laughs> All right, so I want one of these. Oh, it's, uh, you know, if you want me to sing as well as the whole uh, run over the gray dwarf with a log until it dies thing, uh, that's going to have to be a community challenge. That's more points than any of you want to think about. Okay, hopefully that log is in there good and tight and, and supportive and stuff. Now we'll see if I measured correctly. No. Come on. No, I'm drifting out to sea again. Why do I keep drifting out to sea? Okay, uh... He would, would just thank you. Sitting pretty on almost 65,000. Yes, um, but um, I'm, I'm thinking that it would have to be uh, millions, plural for that particular challenge. Now, the reason that what I've done here is, um, I don't know if it's actually backed up by any numbers, but it is uh, believed within the Valheim community that uh, if your boat bangs up against core wood, it will damage the boat less. Which is why I've put core wood along the side of the dock here. Now the idea... Uh, will it... Yeah, okay. I, I know I can't construct one, but how wide are we looking at here? What does that look like? Too wide? I'm going to need another table.
But yeah, I had enough core wood to use one as a support and to line that edge of the dock. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Do the thing. I hear it. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's just a regular old grayling. Hmm. There may have been a miscalculation. All right, uh, let's let's try using and then setting the floor into it, maybe. That's a little bit more of a hole than I expected. Oh, wait. I hear you, grunty boy. Puts a car bumper on your boat. Exactly! That is, that is what I'm trying to do. Just, uh, let's just cover my sins. There we go. Okay, there's absolutely no giant hole for people to fall into. Never happened. Nobody can prove anything. That's a goof. I did not mean to do that. That that would that's a waste of core wood. Like that. And please let this still be close enough for me to pull this off.
I, I'm getting a little nervous about doing this at night, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. It's so dark. I'm just gonna work on safety measures until I can see again. And I'm out of wood again. <laughs> I, I am a little exasperated because it does get, it gets so dark at night and I just want to get things done, but I can't see to do them. And it's just like, if I could just, if I could just see what I'm doing, this would be easy, right? Right? <laughs> you as I I do definitely prefer when they when they look good as well as being functional I, I did mention that earlier in the stream but you know I repeat myself a lot especially when I'm streaming yes hello stop being a nuisance I'm busy The general goal here is to to make a nice little house and to have a dock that actually looks like a dock to attach to it and I see that in covering my sins I caused another problem so uh, there we go Anyway, it is daylight now, so hopefully I'll be able to see. Let's see, if I... Come on. Obey me! I, I just I just want it to attach to this piece of flooring that I'm standing on. That's all I want. I win, game. I win. <laughs> you do not win because I win. Why you gotta play me like that, homie? I don't I don't want you up, I want you down. This game really wants me to suffer for this. <laughs> 
we win when you fight. Yes, exactly. How else do you win this game? Okay, come it, Just, just let me... Yes, thank you! Haha! -ha! Okay. Why? Just, just, just. Why? Let's, let's retrieve the materials. What a lovely day for a swim, isn't it? Okay. Back to safety railings. Okay, and that one like that. Run out of wood again because this is my life forever now. I haven't even finished this project. The thing is, like, I still have to put a wall around it. Don't fall on me. Please don't fall on me. Thank you for not falling on me. Okay, that, that was, um, that was a lot of spectacular going on that I didn't dare look at. If I stand right here, I can hit, like, at least three things at once, if not four. Okay, we, we've now actually reached an interesting situation, so let me just... Go away, Nick, I'm busy. They know what the results are going to be. Why do they keep trying? We were so close. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, do, do I not have inventory space? I don't have inventory space for fine wood. That's the problem. 
Which is way more important than a deer trophy, by the way. What is that? That's... Oh, birch seed. Birch seed I want. Uh... Shoop. It happened again. Okay. My hammer is going to break so soon, and it would be hilarious if it broke while I'm gathering... What do you mean, don't have 50 wood? Oh, we're at maximum... Oh, boy. Okay. I ran all the way back here when I didn't need to, because what I needed to do was do this. Come to Foxwine. Okay, I'm going to take a quick pause in the construction because my hammer is just about to break, so I need to hop back and repair it real quick. I'm also thinking that I might have made the dock a little too narrow. But frankly, on, on the uh, away from the house side is mainly cosmetic. So. Okay, let's, let's put some things away. Deer hide. Yet more, br yet more seeds. My seeds, my carrots. Put that there, put that there. Acorn is on the windowsill watching my... <laughs> Indeed. My carrots have been growing for a while. I bet they're ready. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Let us talk about how glad I am that I programmed one of the buttons on my mouse on my mouse to be E. Okay. All right, five. Oh, that that was a mistake. That's not the one I wanted. Well, I guess I'm I guess I'm doing it this way this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause to consume some food. It's 
See, I normally use the seed ones to measure with because they're actually easier to see, especially when the wind is blowing. any cabbages in this game, more's the pity. Oh, and some of my raspberries have come in. Let's grab those. One of these days I'm going to use console commands in here to plant some blueberries inside the base because I really have not been having a lot of luck with finding blueberries out in the uh, Black Forest. Alright, put the cultivator back as my portal sings to me. Let's do some repairs. the carrots. Boar meat, necktail, blueberries in with the shrooms for reasons I decline to explain, raspberries, cook the deer meat. But yeah, if you're if you're ever like planting or gardening in a game that does not offer you a grid uh, to be planting in, like it doesn't have a built-in grid, using your most visible plant first and creating a grid off of that plant is generally uh, what I've found to be a really good way of, of going about it. Am I, am I that fascinating to Acorn? I'm a bit surprised. I, I wouldn't have expected like a, a uh, blue moving dot to be that fascinating. What do I have left? Resin, eyes, and feathers. Okay. All right, feathers go in here. I am now on my third stack of feathers. It is spectacular. Valheim Pro Strats. Surprise what interests kitties. That is true. It has been a very long time since I lived with a cat. I do like cats, I'm just not really able to live with them. I have a sensitivity to ammonia. It only counts as a sensitivity because it's not, it doesn't uh, require antihistamines. But it means that I can only visit cats, I cannot live with them. <laughs> and thus I have to live vicariously through other people's cats. Which is very difficult when, you know, you can't visit them because COVID times. All 
I'm just uh, sucking in a rested bonus here because I'm going to be working at night again, it appears. So I'd like to have the stamina regen because it's going to be a little nerfed by the cold. There we go. And I remembered to repair everything, so back to work. I would like that, Loppy. I mean, I've got to I've gotten to see him. I have an idea of scale, so to speak. But not really the same as as uh, a cat deigning to allow one to pet them. Okay, let's see here. I want one of these. Please squeeze your... Nope, not like that. Excuse you! I find that it is best to not expect the cat to allow me. And that way I can always be delighted when they do. Just, just, just do the thing, please. I don't really care what's going on here, so. That's, that's something weird going on there, but I'm, I'm not going to think about it too hard. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I should put another flooring piece in there instead. Ha ha. And out of wood again, except this time. Let me have that pile of wood. Thank you. Ha ha. Come on, just, just, just attach, please. Where are you trying to go? Good, okay. Blast it, where's the edge? I can't see a thing. And I only have one resin, darn it. Is there another grayling lurking around here? I could really use a torch right now. Well, either way. It's going to be interesting dropping this thing in the right place, but I think it's going to fit in that gap. I think. I really hope so. I'd hate to have to rebuild the whole thing. <laughs> Especially, you know, after I uh, went and put all my core wood away at the main house. But, um... Well... I'll, I'll find out, but I'm going to wait until daylight to find out. Crossing fingers. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Well, I didn't actually mean to press that button. Oh, well, that, that's a thing that happened. Um... Yeah. 
yeah, I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking this. As long as the boat actually fits in this space, I'm doing pretty well. Admittedly, if I or anyone falls into that gap there, uh, they've probably been condemned to death, but... But, yeah. I just need to be able to drop my ship in there to uh, find out if this is viable. Which I need, I need daylight so I can see what I'm doing. I've only ever dropped one ship before. So I, I'm, I have to admit that I'm not 100% sure I know what I'm doing on that front. Yes. And I have to admit that my trials have been, the, the trial portion has been a little limited for me. But assuming that I have allowed a space large enough for the ship and that I can consistently aim said ship into said space, this is, this is looking pretty good. And I can actually get started on the defensive measures in darkness. They don't need to be much. I, I'm not going to be putting a trench around this place. I'm just going to put up a nice wall so that my stuff doesn't get broken when I'm not paying attention. It doesn't even need to be a very big wall. Hey! Look at that! More resin for a torch. Perfect. That gives me a slightly better chance of seeing what I'm doing. This rock might be in the way. I'm not sure exactly how far this way I need to come, but I suppose if I just go all the way to the shore... Oh. Wasn't looking what I was doing there. Like, there, there's nothing that's going to be 100% defensive. If things want to walk around the wall, like, the into the water to get at this stuff, they're just going to do that. So I don't see the point in digging a trench for this place. But, you know, giving it, giving it a little wall makes me feel better. So, 
I don't have enough wood to build a gate. That's that's hilarious. I I have put myself inside here. Wait, 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 wait. Ha ha. Nobody judge me. I do want a bit more wood though, uh, so just... Uh, I have this log here that I was saving. I'm not sure if that's really enough wood, but uh, we'll see. Also, my tablet is being a bit of a bear and not showing me all my comments right away, so... I didn't completely lock myself in there, that's the thing. Because I can go around at the water the same as the mobs can. So, like, I, I can absolutely go around the wall here. Easily. But yeah, it, it would have been pretty funny if I'd built the whole wall and then been like, oh, I don't have enough wood for a door. Okay, that will stymie pretty much anything coming from that side because only there's only a particular kinds of monsters that know how to jump in this game so I just can't project out very far over the water because it, it counts as unsupported and also I'm only allowed to construct if I'm standing so But yeah, every, every monster in the game, everything in the game can swim. So... Mm. Well, I guess that's how long the wall's gonna be on this side. Oop. And there goes the fish. I'm being mocked again. Don't mind me, it's just the birch the birch tree was right there. It was right there. It was asking for it. Yes, and also in this game, um, when you're swimming, it's like, oh, you have put down everything you had in your hands so you can use them to tread water. So, um, when you're in the water, uh, swimming, you count as empty-handed. Okay. Alright. Uh, it is full daylight now. Let's see if I can manage to drop a boat. Why does it want to go there? Why does it want to go there? Wait, wait. I think, I think, oh. Oh, well, I, I did hit the dock with it, but good.
but it fits in the gap. Look at that. It fits, it fits. It fits so it sits. That is actually, this is exactly the right size. Look at how perfectly I managed that. Oh man. Admittedly, getting out of the boat is going to be interesting. But getting in is going to be super easy. Apparently, I should have built the dock a little lower. But, okay, let, let's... Let me... Alright, in the boat. Person in boat. Oh, ha ha! In boat. Out of boat! I have a port with a boat in it! Oh, that's glorious. Which means that, you know, the next ambition is to sail across the waters to uh, that landmass right over there and find out if it's the landmass that has the Elder Altar on it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely a mountain. That concerns me. Because that looks awfully close. But the Elder is quite some distance away. Um, which concerns me that the Elder is on the other side of that mountain. Yes, indeed. So, I'm, I'm very, I'm so proud of this. Look, look at the glory that is this. You know what? Let me just, there we go. Screenshot! <laughs> this is, this is actually the first dock that I have ever built. This is, this is my first dock. So I'm, I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm so proud of managing this first try, best try. Thank you. Yes. Mmm. But yeah, I, I want to save sailing across the, the ocean to that mountain for another stream because honestly, I only really have about 20-ish minutes left in this one officially. So I I don't know that that would be really more ti uh, in, enough time. It might be enough to get me across the water to the other side, but not much time to do anything else. So, uh, I think I will find something to do and save the sailing for next week. But what I am gonna do... Gonna head out over here. Now, let me double check things. A portal is 10 eyes and 20 fine wood, which is one of the reasons why I'm going after all the, the birch trees of late. So I need 10 out of the stash. I think I should maybe start growing birch trees. And I need 9 of the eyes from the stash.
And I am really going to have to find some more dungeons because I'm going to start running out of cores again. But let me run upstairs. In my special chest here. Grab two cores. Yes, next, next week I shall be taking to the water and we'll find out how close that land actually is and whether or not I'm going to be hitting ocean. Now, this is the main reason I have this chest here. We pop the ingredients for the portal in the chest and then when I'm ready to sail, I take the portal ingredients with me. <laughs> It's, it's been a hot minute. Let's go to honey. I bet they have more honey for me. Hello, girls. How you doing? Yeah, look at that. Full up. Everybody's got four honey for me. Yes, you did just see that glorious example of parkour. Thank you. Oh, look at how generous my ladies are. Four honeycombs in every hive, and every hive has honeycombs. Yes, bees! And hardcore parkour. Everybody's getting so excited, my goodness! And by everybody, I mean Loppy. <laughs> he said the word, oh, well, that, that is one of the unfortunate side effects. Now, I'm going to have to hold off on getting another um, batch of mead going because I am running out of thistle. So I need more thistle before I can really uh, do more mead. So perhaps what I should do is... Empty out my inventory. Get caught under my own roof for a moment. And... Let's take a trip to the Black Forest and see if I can find some more thistle up here. It's me, I've been lopped the whole time. Wow! You are really good at changing your voice. It would also, it would be a little scary, but also really nice to find another troll. Because with like one or two more trolls, I would be able to 
upgrade my my cape. Well, with more trolls, I would be able to upgrade my armor some more. Well versed in ventriloquy, yes. I'm 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 gonna be honest. I'm not actually sure ventriloquy is a word. Uh, look at my copper hole. Could eat another bite. Oh, yes, so I could. Oh, I'm gonna have to make more boar jerky soon. My pile, she's getting slim. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if I go up and over the mountain... Well, as long as I choose a direction. Well, let's, let's go this way. <laughs> I mean, it's actually physically painful for me to call somebody on, on uh, using words that don't exist, but... <laughs> you know, if they're just gonna run in front of me like that... Uh, you are not thistles. Have very strong arms since I have to throw my voice all the way to Texas. Yes, that would be, that is definitely a trick. Okay, that is the other dungeon that I already cleared. There was that spot that had the one star troll that I left my death marker so that I would remember where it was. But it's been so long, I'm not sure if the one star is still there. Ah, uh, yes. Another former copper deposit. Um... I mean, I probably should acquire some more copper and bronze and such. Because now I've used up all of the supply that I had, so if for some reason I should, say, lose the ship that I just uh, created, I would not actually be able to replace it because I don't have enough bronze to make the nails anymore. Wait, wait, that, oh, that looks like some thistle. Let me add it. What the heck? I didn't I didn't know that there were these in the black forest. I thought they were only out in the meadows. Okay. But yeah, I I would love to find some blueberries as well while I'm out here. Is there anything lurking around that tower coming for me? No? Okay. I'm going to mark this copper deposit since it's not on my map. It's interesting how it's got the, the, uh, the trees growing out of it. Oh, there is a skeleton up there, but it's up there and it's one of the melee ones, so I don't have to care. So I won't. I have absolutely no reason to be climbing up there to fight that thing. There are so many easier ways to get bones.
Leet Hunter. Leet Hunter am I. Now this is bits that I have not explored before. It's sort of above where I died before though. So I should keep a careful eye out. Uh, why is my black forest so bereft of blueberries? Wait a minute, what's that over there? It's a large rock is what it is. It's just a large rock, it's just an unusual formation. How unfortunate. Ah, I complained about blueberries and they arrive. I should have complained sooner. Oh boy, I'm in the dark forest at night. More carrot seeds? Uh. Wait, is that another dungeon up there? I think it is. Guarded by skeletons too, which means it's the one more likely to have cores in it. Looks like the skeletons were having a field day around here. Gotta <laughs> get it blueberries from the blue farm. Yeah, you'd th you'd think so, but there aren't any blackberries in here. I'd know our premier would be using it. A highly localized joke, Loppy. <laughs> highly localized indeed. What is attacking that... Seriously, what, what is attacking? Is that another skeleton? It's another dungeon! Oh man, I'm going to be able to go core shopping again after this. Under this logic, raspberries should be found in the rasp forest and gooseberries in the goose forest and so on and so forth. Well. I mean, that would be logical, wouldn't it? Look at this, there's two dungeons that you can see from each other. That's ridiculous. Man, I wish I'd come up here sooner. Or down here sooner. Uh, which way did I go again? Yep, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go core shopping after I uh, sail. Well, yeah. I mean, depending on how far away the elder altar is from where I land. Uh, there's another gray dwarf shaman. Nope, you do not get to poison me today. I am not seeing a lot of thistle, although finding the two dungeons, very handy. Wait a minute. There's some glitter over this way. Maybe I'm lucky? 
I am not lucky. Uh, oh wait! This is one really good argument for being in the Black Forest at night. It is so much easier to see the thistle. I mean, look at these puppies. Just glowing for everybody to see. boy. Oh, this is a scary copper deposit. Man, look how close to the mountain that is. Oh, man. Mining this one is going to attract wolves. Goose forest full of gooseberries and Canadian geese. Goose Forest, the new EDM stage name. <laughs> sure, why not? EDM's a good genre. I like EDM. Oh, a few more blueberries. Oh, that's a cold wind coming off that mountain. This is not entirely safe. This is getting awfully close to where I met that one star troll. Wait, more carrots. Yeah, it was it was around here. <laughs> Came out on stage, big goose shaped mass. <laughs> Sure, why not? There are there are worse gimmicks. And there are much more passive animals that you could be uh, cosplaying. I don't really want to fight a troll at night, I'm gonna admit. I like being able to see where I'm running when I fight a troll. Did I see another thistle down here somewhere? Or was it just glitter off the water? It might have just been glitter off the water. Okay, it's not showing me that last comment. Oh, it's just it's just you laughing at me. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the place that the troll was lurking around. I do not actually see a troll, though. I would definitely see a troll if there were a troll here. Oh yeah, you know what that is? That's a troll cave. Which means that if the troll is not out front, the troll is inside. Oh boy. Well, the good news is it's not out front and thus I can take his thistles. It also means that I am probably okay. I'm probably okay removing that death marker. I wasn't sure if, if starred mobs were persistent. Most mobs are not persistent, but I, I didn't know if starred ones were. 
But that answers the question. He's... Oh. What is, what is going on here? Did he get drawn away by something? Is that what happened? Like, he is moving. He's going somewhere. He has plans. Squishing deer? Maybe. That's an awfully far way to go to be, to be, um... I mean, I have the troll cave marked now, so I don't necessarily need to... I don't, I don't necessarily need to keep that death there. Let's see, he was over here somewhere, wasn't he? Some gray dwarves here, but I think trolls ignore gray dwarves. Like, there is one deer running around in a panic, but I just don't see a troll chasing a deer like that. Hmm. Oh, wait, look, look, look down there. It was the skeletons again. It has to have been. Look, it's another one of those cairn things down there. Oh, I've, I've chased a deer. It's foolish to do so, but I've done it. But I just... Why would a troll chase a deer that far? I... But yeah, this is, this is just one of those like weird little things that sometimes have skeletons around them. He was smashing skeletons. He was making skeletons regret him. That's what he was doing. I did get some more blueberries out of that, though. And hey, there are no skeletons around to threaten me. Well, I've gotten enough thistle for another two batches of, of poison resistance potions, so there is that. Oh, wait, wait, more blueberries. I have not yet found a swamp. A uh, swamp has evaded me as yet. I'm kind of glad about that. I am not equipped for a swamp. I haven't even made a single fire arrow yet. Oh, hey, more carrots. I am gonna have to do some more advanced math. Or not.
Maybe 30 carrots is good, and I just keep planting 30 carrots. Barring race, wood arrows are more useful in swamp. Well, maybe? I mean, they are very cheap to make, but flint arrows do more damage. I know a lot of the stuff in the swamp is resistant to fire. But I think my preference, um, especially when, when working alone, would be to uh, use flint arrows uh, simply for the extra damage. Excuse me, I am trying to mark this resource. Okay, where was I? Yes, I was marking this copper. as I work my way back north-ish. Yep, this, uh... I ran out of black forest. Aw, oh, man. I really need more practice aiming down. But, yeah, it's just the, the main recommendation of wood arrows is that they're cheap. Oh. All right, folks, wish me luck. I want that hide. You know what? Oh man, it's one of the club ones. I wish I'd noticed that. mark this area to come back for wood. Ow! Oh, for crying out loud, pig. Come back to me, Stamina. I need you so bad. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, oh I almost... Well, the problem with the club ones is that their reach is so much greater that it's harder to stay out of it, as shown by uh, what just happened right here. <sighs> okay. That troll is going to be really nearby my corpse. So you know what? We're going to go for deer stew and a queen's jam. OK. 
Okay, and while that while I'm waiting for my rested bonus, let's uh, adjust the death counter to a very unlucky number. <laughs> I just got smashed to death by a troll, Loppy. These are things that keep happening to me. And it's raining, which is just great. But yeah, uh, if you see here, I have deer stew and deer meat here. The deer meat gives 35 health, but the deer stew gives 45. Where is my death counter? Uh, it should be in the uh, lower right corner. Oh man, okay. Uh, well, at least I wasn't far from my base. Ugh. Okay, so which of my doors is closest to that edge? Why does it have to be raining? All right, let's go get my stuff back. Shut up, Neck. Go away. And my Dear God buff is on cooldown now, so I can't use it to retrieve my stuff. I'm so sad. But yeah, I must have... I was hoping for surprise damage on the troll, but it barely touched its hit points. I must have just grazed it rather than getting a full hit. But yes, in the time that I have been streaming Valheim... I have died 13 times. Generally, for very stupid reasons. Okay. I am not observed. Where the heck's my tombstone? There it is. If it would, No, it wasn't fully aware of me, though. I, I was I was in stealth. It wasn't showing me as like it I didn't even have this partial eyeball like it has right now because the deer can see me. And it had its back to me. Oh, something sees me all right. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Man, stop wasting me waste arrows. It seems to be having some trouble getting over to me. Perhaps there's too many trees in the way. I am victorious. Um, 
Um. You know what? I'm going to leave this death marker here. <laughs> Because there is an incredible amount of downed trees here, and I want to, like, bring the cart here and, uh, clean up. I'll try to pick up what I can. Because this is an absolutely nuts amount of wood, and I would prefer not to waste it. But yeah, this, like, look at all the trees he downed. Look at them all. I could build a whole nother base on this. Actually, I couldn't, but, you know, I could make a really good start. more black forest. Notice he didn't knock down any of the trees in here. He knocked them all down in the meadows. Uh, do I have an existing stack of raspberries? I do not. Um... Well, let's, uh, let's chuck the deer trophy so I can have raspberries, because raspberries are, are more important to me. Oh, 10 a.m. vet appointment. Ooh. Well, I hope that the vet appointment goes well and that uh, everything is uh, going well with acorn and stuff. Was, is that the deer trophies? Did I throw them directly? Yeah, I threw them directly into the raspberry bushes. I am so smart. So, good night, Loppy. Thank you for spending this whole evening with me. Your company is much appreciated. Ah, uh, well, then I hope that things have either gotten better or have stayed in, in exactly the same. For me, for my part, I'm just going to work my way back to the base. I'm going to get all of this stuff sorted out and put away. And, uh, next week, well, there, there's a, there's a bunch of things. I mean, there's all that wood to collect, but I also said that I'd go sailing. And I mean, I can definitely do both. There's more than enough time to do both. But what order should I do them in? Oh man, I don't have any inventory space for mushrooms. Oh well. Ah, uh, here we are. 
Home sweet, what did you do the wall home? Just try to skirt around the neck because I don't want to deal with them right now. Hey piggies, I'm home. Hi, hello. They never say hello. All right, repairs. And let's check here. Yes, I can upgrade the cape, which is the last thing I had left that was not at least level two. There we go. I can still use more troll hide. because I can get things up to, uh, yeah, I can get things up to level three with the current level of workbench that I have. So I would need, let's see, four, eight, 18. I need 18 more troll hide and at, Five chide per troll. That's four trolls. I don't want to fight four more trolls. I, I really don't want to. Uh, you know what? I'm going to upgrade the hammer just for the extra durability. I do so much crafting. Okay, stashings, stash that, stash that, used up the troll hide, which is good because I don't actually have any room for it in here right now. Uh, carrot seeds, uh, that's the resin chest, which is full, gloriously full, gray dwarf eyes. Oh, I forgot to put the bones in the pile. Bones. Uh, okay. Resin. Okay, repair at the forge. Stash the rock. Breathe a sigh of relief at how much lighter my inventory is all of a sudden. Thistle. Raspberries, blueberries. I, I need to make more jerky. So let's pull out some boar meat. more. Yeah, there we go. Nice full stack, full-ish stack of boar jerky. Let's sear some meat. Very 
soothing, this activity. Nice that I had exactly eight meat, too. Makes this part really easy. Maybe I should make a bit more deer stew. Yeah, I should probably make a bit more deer stew to put in the pile upstairs. Let's see, what were the ingredients on that one? Deer meat, blueberry, carrot. I don't like to have very many of these on, uh, I don't like to make very many of these uh, because they're very costly in resource. Like you put three materials in and only get one food back. It's, it's not the best, but when you need the extra HP, you need the extra HP. Blueberries back. Actually, no. Keep the blueberries. Grab the raspberries. Because I should make some more Queen's Jam as well. Another thing that I like to keep a, a small amount on hand because it is really good right after I've died. So I am... I'm going to make a couple of batches of that, and that'll be that. That'll be enough. Put the blueberries back. Put the extra deer meat in the pile. Contemplate my inventory. Yeah, I just need to drop off this food upstairs by the bed and the gold in the upstairs chest. I will make a note to make more mead next stream. I don't want to do it right now, sorry. I'm, I'm lazy, I'm bored. Well, not bored, I'm lazy, I'm lazy. Okay. Dear Stu, Queen's Jam. Put the gold in the box. I've still got three more portals worth of cores, and I found two more dungeons. So that is sounding pretty good. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna start the mead now because if I don't, I'm gonna forget to do it by next Thursday. I changed my mind. Mercurial, I am. All right, coal. Thistle, Necktail, one, two, and into the fermenters they go. Okay. And refill my honey from the chest. Put the necktails back. Put the 
coal back. There we go. And it's the dawn of a new day, too. That's perfect. Okay. This is where I'm going to call it a night. I have, I've started a new batch of mead. I have things to do for next week, which I'm going to add to the list. Right now, uh, retrieve wood with cart, with cart. At death, uh, what what was that one? One fifteen. Death on day one fifteen. That's that's the one. And I'm putting sail north on the list as well. And I am crossing off the port because I built it. Haha, -ha, I win. I always win. Eventually. Somehow. So, I got so much done tonight. I got so much done tonight and I only died twice. Yay. <laughs> my skills, my precious, precious skills. All gone. Gone. <laughs> So this is where I'm going to be calling it a night. For anyone who is curious about my adventures in Valheim and uh, just how well or badly they may have been going for me over the course of everything, you can find that on my YouTube channel, which I've just had my bot link to for you. There is a playlist there, so if you just want to binge a single game that I've played, I've made it really easy for you. So, uh, you know, hours and upon hours of content there, just waiting, just waiting to be clicked upon. And I will be back again streaming on Sunday night, starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be playing Baldur's Gate. I will be continuing to attempt to find all the various locations that I need to find in that one. Uh, while I wait for nightfall so that I can break into a noble's house, hopefully without being observed. Uh, although I don't have a very sneaky party, so our method of breaking in is probably going to be breaking down the door. So it's going to be great. So that's what's coming up on Sunday. Then on Monday night, I will be playing Wildermyth because it is the last Monday of the month. And the last Monday of the month, I play Wildermyth, which is a an RPG with a very distinctive art style, uh, with a sort of an RNG aspect to the story. Uh, you can get, ver there are various different story bits and chunks that you can get that will change your characters forever, but you never know which one you're going to get. Uh, it's, uh, it's entirely random uh, what, you, what might happen or who might be changed or how they might be changed or whether it's an emotional change or a physical change or a skill change. It's a really fascinating game that I have been working through in little bite-sized pieces at the end of each month. And that is, de that is what's going on on Monday and I definitely recommend tuning in. Then I will be back again on Wednesday night where once we get enough people together to form a room at as close to seven as we can, I will be playing Among Us with a pack of my friends. We will run and yell and accuse each other of stabbing and possibly be correct or maybe not. We're not the best detectives. We try. We really try. Or we'll play hide and seek, in which case we'll just be running and screaming in the dark and there won't be any mystery at all except, you know, how we managed to survive as long as we did. You know, variation. <laughs> And then, next Thursday night, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I shall be returning to Valheim, where I'll be doing something. I will possibly be taking the cart over to that uh, point of my demise to collect, oh, so much wood that that troll knocked down. And maybe, if I'm some version of lucky or unlucky, there'll be another troll, because I need more troll hide, actually. Apparently I need 18 more chunks of troll hides, so I guess I need to kill more trolls. 
that does not fill me with joy. Trolls are difficult and hard and have been the source of the majority of my deaths. But, you know, I need, I need their skin. I need their skin quite badly. So, uh, we'll see. I need to collect that wood and also I promised that I would sail north. So there will definitely be sailing north. I don't know which order I'm going to do these things in. I don't know if I'm going to go collect that wood first or if I'm going to go and sail north first. But I'm definitely going to try to do both of those next week. <laughs> I don't have any moat for that and I'm glad, Muse. <laughs> so that is the upcoming schedule all of the games that I intend to play and what I plan to do in those games. And yes, my plan in Among Us is actually run and scream. Uh, that is the entirety of my plan in, in Among Us. Please do not mistake me for a tactician. <laughs> so everything I plan to do in the games, all the games that I'm going to be playing, tonight has been so much fun. And I hope that all of you have had at least as much fun as I have. And I hope that you have a great night and a great weekend. Good night!